Hey Tigers, how you doing? Just Jaren here. Just want to send a special thank you to everybody who has Thought of Not Robbery to like, Thought of Not Robbery to comment, Thought of Not Robbery to share these videos. I'm just thankful. Um, I'm very appreciative of this. And yeah, let's continue to grow. Let's continue to grow. Let's continue to blossom. Let's continue to build a team of people who want the best for their life. People who want positivity. People who want, you know, joy. People who want to find true happiness in life. You know, I want to, you know, build a community of people who are breaking barriers, who are fighting you know, to get past their traumas, get past, you know, any any negative stigma that's been placed in their life. And we have the opportunity to fight right now. You know, if anybody has been through any kind of depression, anxiety, trauma, hurt, like any of that, you know, I want to build a community that shows that we're more alike than we think. You know, that sister over there might be going through something else that a queen is going through and they can converse and share a healthy conversation to help each other out. This brother over here in this corner might need help from this king and they can converse and build a friendship and be mentors for each other in life. You know, we're, we're dealing with a world, we're dealing with an enemy where they wanna promote negativity, you know, and I get it, you know, and life is yin and yang, you know, you need one to balance out the other. However, as individuals, we need to strive to live in a positive state. We need to strive to live in a state of positive, a state of positivity that's not only good for ourselves but can be good for others around us. You know and. I don't think people realize how negative they are. You know, we, hence, hence the words, um, words are powerful. Hence the, hence the phrase, rather, words are powerful. You know, and once we are aware of our energy, then we know how just a little with things can be negative in the eye of a spiritual one. If you pay attention, even when somebody kind of rolls their eyes or they suck their teeth or they sigh like they, <sighs> you know, you know, you ask them, what's wrong? And they say nothing. You know, I'm guilty of it too. That can build some kind of negative vibe that can start, that can be the kindle for a negative fire that we don't need in our life and that needs to be put out instantly, you know? And I think it's vital that we stay in tune with that, you know? It's, it's, it's crazy to know that the littlest things can change our they could just change the way we feel they could just change our aspects our our aspect and our thinking process to life if you really paid attention to it you know like you ever went to work and somebody was in like a great mood you know and then you look at the person like, why wow, that person's so happy, you know? 
why that person so jolly, you know. You're saying that as a self-reflection of yourself for not being happy and you want the happiness that that person has, you know? So we need to take that into accountability for ourselves, you know? And we need to watch what we're doing so we can be at a place of positivity, joy, happiness, success, prosperity, clarity, and more, you know? Um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to just state that, you know, I was, I was about to wrap up making videos for the day and something just told me just to say this, you know, something tells me that somebody watching this is going to be inspired by these words that I'm saying right now, you know, and, and. It's just real, man. You know, in life, we need to be building communities just like our ancestors did back in the day. You know, we need to be building villages. Each one teach one. The village raise the child and help each other become the best version of ourselves. You know, so, so right now, when information is at our hands at times we like to hide information you know and we like to play little you know games where we don't want to share information to our brothers and sisters but I mean if you have some tips that will help somebody else in a positive manner then help them out you know like just, you know help them out obviously at your expense but you know, you have to believe in karma, you know, good karma. What you put out to the world is definitely going to come back to you. You know, it might not come back how you like it and how you want it, but it's going to come back to you. You know, just because you bought groceries for an old lady doesn't mean that somebody's going to buy groceries for you. You know, that karma could be you getting home safely. You just don't know. That karma could be you waking up the next day, you know, that karma could be somebody cash apping you $10 and saying, hey, I just think you need it. You just never know, you know, so building a community of positivity has been the gold. And I pray that these words can inspire someone to start doing the same and impacting lives themselves and those around them. Just learn here. Learn to succeed and follow your dreams. Have a blessed day. Have a positive day. Love yourself. Love your neighbors. Be safe. Peace.